I am one with my I am presence. My Holy Christ Self. My personalities. My body elemental. And my new spirit. Every part of my being is in balance, harmony, and alignment. As I open myself to receive the messages from our beloved Lord Metatron. Hello everyone, and welcome again to these sharings where I bring forth information freely to all of you who are looking to understand the process that the earth and yourselves are going through at this time. This is indeed a wondrous process and is meant to be a celebration of all that you are becoming. But I do see that many of you are having difficulties with it. Difficulties that can be easily removed if you will but follow the information that I bring forth in these messages. Indeed there are others saying the same thing. But sometimes you need to hear it explained very simply and over and over again in order for the message to sink into your heart. For it is your heart that will ascend first and it is your heart that will guide you through the rest of the process gracefully and easily. So I am speaking to your heart and it is my hope that your heart resonates with these messages. That it is both lightened and enlightened by the messages and the energy that comes forth through these videos. So as you listen and as you watch, focus in your heart. Listen from your heart and see how your heart responds to these words and to the light and love that is coming through the video itself. For there is much more than a human being sitting here. There is a human being who has opened herself to receive the full activity of my love and my light. And what she does, you can also do by simply opening and preparing yourself to receive this within you. She is not special in any way whatsoever, but she has practiced for many years to obtain the clarity of mind and the openness of heart to be able to receive these transmissions clearly and easily. And this you can all do. And I hope that you will indeed attempt to do so. So that you too may feel the peace in your mind and the love and expansion in your heart that is quickly becoming part of Christmas's daily awareness. For beyond these videos, she does daily meditations with both myself and the Lord Adama of Talos and Lady Métis, my divine counterpart. 
so she sometimes does three meditations a day. In order to raise her light quotient and to learn to focus her mind so that she can be fully attuned with the messages and the energy that she is receiving. Like you, her mind once went off in all directions and had much difficulty remaining for even more than a few seconds focused on one thought, on one idea, or on one vibration. Now she is finding it much more easy to do so. However, because of the grace of this time of ascension, you will be able to do it much more quickly than she has. She first began meditation in 1972, 40 years ago. She has spent 40 years preparing for this time. You will be able to achieve it much more quickly because of all the love and light that is coming into the earth at this time and because of all the masters, the angels, the archangels, and the many beings of light who are surrounding the planet at this time, who are surrounding each and every one of you. And at the very instant that you open your heart or your mind to them, they are ready to receive you and to come into you. They respond instantly as soon as you open to them. And because they are not bound by the limits of physicality, they do indeed come into you. They join their vibration with yours. And as you become more sensitive, you can actually feel them coming into you within your very being. This is why you can achieve in a very short time that which has taken the way showers, such as Christmas, much longer to achieve. The time of the Earth's ascension is drawing near. You do not have much more time to prepare yourselves. So take this very seriously, beloved, but with a light heart. For if you are sincere in your desire to ascend with the earth, I will make you ready, and all of the light beings will participate with me in making you ready. And one of the quickest ways to become ready is to know that every single event that occurs to you is part of your preparation. Even the smallest things, even the most irritating things, and even the greatest of calamities, if they appear to be so to you, is still part of your preparation. For indeed, there are many things that you need to let go of, to clear from your being, to purify, and to release. You have many habitual ways of doing things and many habitual thoughts that only serve to maintain the limitation and the negativity within you. 
These must be released if you are to ascend, my dear children. I love you with all of my heart, and I want to bring all of you home. But you must participate in this process consciously and willingly. And if your heart is light and your trust is deep, you will come home quickly. So please, beloveds, regardless of your daily activities, regardless of what you think is important, know that the time that you spend in spiritual work is the most important thing that you have to do with that time. And it will bring you the greatest rewards. For when Jesus, or when it was written in the Bible, that you do not need to concern yourself with what you eat or drink or what you wear, it was in the sense that if you first put your thought to God and know that God is the supplier of everything that you need, then everything you need will be brought to you. As long as you think that it is your job or your spouse or your parents who are providing everything that you need, then at least in your mind you will continue to be dependent on them. And you will find yourself mightily shaken when those sources disappear. So begin now, in this very moment, to know that everything that comes to you comes directly from God. And give your thanks to God. Some of you believe that you receive everything through your own efforts. Please know that this is not so. And I do not wish you to be shaken and disturbed when you find that you are unable to provide for yourselves. So please, begin now to understand, to know within every cell of your heart that everything is provided by God and give thanks to God for everything in your life. Even if they are not exactly what you want, even if you want bigger and better, be thankful in this moment for everything that you have. The attitudes of which I speak during these videos will greatly help you in your ascension. These are attitudes that need to become a part of your moment-to-moment -moment awareness. So learn to focus on them. First and foremost, as it is said in the very first commandment, Love the Lord thy God with all of thy heart and all of thy mind and all of thy being. This is what it truly means. It means that with every thought, put God first. With every feeling, Put God first. With every activity, put God first. Become aware of God first. Know that God is the source of every breath that you take. And that you are breathing in God's very essence as you breathe. 
And so every activity that you do, you can only do because you have God's love and God's light within you. You can only think because you have God's love and God's light in your mind. You can only feel and be aware of everything around you because you have God's love and God's light within you. You do not need to go to church to understand this. You do not need to pay money to anybody in order to understand this. You need only accept its reality. And once you have established a personal relationship with God, by whatever name you call Him, and by whatever religion you practice, God will be there for you. God will carry you through the difficult moments. And just knowing that the difficult moments are there in order to wipe the slate clean and to make your connection with God that much stronger, then you will get through those moments much more easily. So please know, beloved, that every moment of every day is of extreme importance at this time. You no longer have time to go through your life half asleep and mostly unconscious. You need to be awake and alert in every moment of every day. In this way only can you make the most of every moment that you have left until the time of the Great Ascension, the Great Transformation, the greatest celebration of life that this planet has ever seen. And I wish you to go through this gracefully, with an enlightened heart and an enlightened mind. And if you follow the very simple instructions on these videos, then you will do so. Please go back and look again at the videos that you have already seen and that have already been published. For there is much important information on them. And seeing them only once is not enough to hold them in your mind consciously. Look at them as often as you can until you feel that you can actually live them in every moment of your day-to-day -day life. And as the time approaches, I will bring forth more pertinent information to assist you in every way I possibly can. For it is my great joy to do so. It is my great joy to watch as you become more filled with light and more filled with joy. For I know that you are that much closer to coming home. home into the fullness of who you truly are. When you are home, you will be in heaven on earth. For you are not truly going anywhere. You are simply becoming that which you have always been in the world of eternal light and love. And now that world of eternal light and love 
will be manifest everywhere upon this glorious planet. And all of those who remain with her will be in a state of love and light. You will be home in heaven. You will be gloriously happy to have made it through the difficult days. And you will be a part of my heart. And I will be a part of your heart. And all will be gloriously beautiful upon this transformed planet. So I thank you once again with all of my heart for watching these videos, for hearing my words, and for following the instructions which I give you. I am Metatron, and I bless you all. Thank you.